Hey there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to read and write to files in Python easily. So without any further delays let's get into the tutorial. Firstly what I'm going to be doing is creating a new folder and call it read and write to files. One thing you need to bear in mind is to keep it all easy and going smooth, you need to keep it inside the same directory, the files that you would like to read and write to. Make sure that they're in the same directory as the program we're creating. So firstly, I'm going to create a Python file by typing in hmm, reader and writer. I can't be asked to open the GUI, so I'm just going to save as and then put qy in the end all files save yeah that does the job so once you've got that you can edit that in idle also what you want to do is create a text file actually never mind and close that for now so what we're going to do firstly is in the program we're going to say print, we're going to import the System import time just like we always do. So we're going to print welcome to Python file reader and writer. Okay, there's that. Next, what we want to do is uh, give the user a couple of options. So Option one will be read from file. Oops. And option two would essentially be and copy that write to file. So based on the number that the user enters, we need to uh, take the program to the certain mode. So this program is going to have two modes, one to read from files and one to write to file. So the way we're going to get the input is we're going to create a new variable called option equals input string please enter an option. Okay, so after that we're going to say if option will equals 1, what we're going to do is say print now reading, just to check if it works, and then elif option equals 2, so if the option the user enters 2, then there we're going to say now writing. Okay, we just else we're gonna say print please select a valid option. So I'm gonna run this for now just to check if the program works so far. We're gonna try say one in there and then it says oh my bad. So what we need to do after this is convert the option into an integer so we're going to do option equals int option let's just run that real quick i put one now it should say now reading problem before was we uh, took a string input that's why it went to it couldn't recognize the number one we'll try inserting two as well it should say now writing yep and then run that again Close that full screen, yeah. And then if we do some gibberish, oh, never mind, it should only be numbers, I think. So if we do some gibberish, it's gonna say, Please select a valid option. So once we're done with that, we're pretty much good to go. So we'll start with the reading function. What we need to do with the reading, first of all, I'm just gonna put some space in here because it's really debugging me. Okay, 
So the way you read files in Python is we're going to have to take the file name of the file first, considering that it's in the same directory. I'm going to say file name equals input string file name. Please enter file name. Okay. You can change that to anything you like, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Next, what you want to do is say file equals open file name, and you need to specify the mode that you want to, you want to, the mode. So we essentially what open does is it's going to open the file. So the file name is going to be in here. And then you're saying that you want to be opening in read mode. So you only want to be reading data from it. So next, all you need to do is print. And then we'll say file information. And actually we'll do file end and file starts. So the user knows that the file starts right there and file ends right here. Some blank space in between that. Okay. And then we're gonna print the file. So just for the sake of this, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to the same folder that we created a second ago open that up create a new text file in there call that um new and then we're going to open that and write some data we'll say hello world for now save close back to the program full, full screen that run this module yes we'll like to save that and then we just follow the instructions we're going to read from file the name of the file was new.txt um one sec so actually we we might not really we have we missed out another step so what we need to do next is all right the file and say file equals file dot read and then those brackets and then fingers crossed it should work let's put one on there new dot txt and there we go we have file start file end and then it says hello world which is a content inside the file just to prove it to you guys if i update here and say hello world again and save that file really quickly go back in here run this module again and then we say oh, new.txt hello world hello world again there we go so the first bit of the program is working fine. What we need to do next is move on to writing to the file. So for this, it's going to be the same way. We take file name. So the user is going to insert the file name. I might as well just copy this down actually. Paste that in there. And then we say file equals the same parentheses. So file name, comma, this time we're going to open it in write mode so that we can write to the file. So if the file doesn't exist within the direc directory, it's going to create a new file with that file name. We'll say print file. And then we need the content that will be inserted into the file. So before we actually open the file, we'll take file content equals input string. Please enter content for the file close that and then once we have opened the file we're going to do file.write which will write to the file after it's been opened in um, write mode file content so once we've written the file content very important we need to close the file it's more like saving once we've done with writing to it and then we'll just print saying Um, let's just say file has been saved 
Yep. Now we're just going to need a couple of these just to make it look a bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I run the program now, we're going to be able to create, um, let's see, two. So enter a file name. So I'll say new file, right? Form Python. Enter the content for the file. Hello world. This has been written using Python. And then there we go. File has been, file has been saved. So if we close this for now, I'm going to minimize the window. Go back to the directory. Oh, we messed up actually. So if I delete this file, the problem now is we didn't specify a format for the file. So if I rerun that again, um, you need to make sure that you type in the file format. So new file using Python. You don't need the underscore, by the way. I just did it for fun. And then dot txt. Make sure you have the extension. And then you can also save it as a video format or what, whatever, but it won't obviously, in a video format, it won't play text. <laughs> so you enter the content. Um, content has been written using Python. Enter. File has been saved. Um, you want to be making sure that you close the shell once you're done. And then here we are, new file using Python. We open that. Content has been written using Python. Done. Perfect. So what I'm also going to be showing you guys is, for example, you want to write another line to it. What you want to do in that scenario, if you want to move on to another line, all you do is um, you take file content, create another variable, file content one. Oh, never mind. All you want to do is that, please into file content. So where you have the right, all you do is hopefully this works. So forward slash and n. That should take it to the next line, if I'm not wrong. So if I do two uh, t hey next line. Okay, so that didn't work. But anyway, if you want to move something to the next line, you might not be able to take the input from the user and uh, you might have to manually do that. So you do, before doing this, you will just do file.write just do a do that. If you run it now, I think it should go into the next line. T. Hello there, new line. Okay, file has been saved. Close this for now. And then we go hello. And there we go. We have a space. So that's all for today's tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a target of 1,000 subscribers, too, so please help me get there. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.